Good day, grade threes, and welcome to day five of our math. I hope you all had a good weekend and that you enjoyed your Easter weekend with your family. Today we are going to talk about money. But first, like in every math, we must begin with some mental math. So do these activities at home after you've watched this PowerPoint and then tomorrow I will give you the memorandum and the answers. You have three activities, one where you must write the number symbol, activity two complete more or less than and activity three to order the numbers where you must write the number before, between or after. Then for today, we will focus on money. How does money work in South Africa? In South Africa, we use cents and rand. We have a one rand, a two rand and a five rand in silver coins. And then we have a five cents, a ten cents, a twenty cent and a fifty cent in brown coins. We also get the 10 Rand, the 20 Rand, the 50 Rand, the 100 Rand, and the 200 Rand. And this for today's lesson we will call Valid Money. Later on in the lesson you will understand why I call it Valid Money. So who can guess? How many cents does it take to make one rand? If we count in 10 cents, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 cents. If we count in 20s, we also have 20, 40, 60, 80 and 20 cents and then lastly if we count in 50 cents we have 50 cents and 100 cents so who can guess how many cents does it take to make one rand yes it takes a hundred cents to make one rand How to add money together? Our first step you, you will see here in the right corner. Our first step is to add the hundred cents and the units together. Put them in order. Step two is plus them together. And step th three, we must divide our answer into rands and cents. So our first question, you will see number A is 65 cents plus 50 cents. So what is our first step? We must add the 100 cents and units. So you will see at number A, the unit is the five and at 50 our unit is the zero. So five plus zero equals five. Then we must plus the tens together and we have 60 plus 50 equals 110 and then we must plus our answers together so that we can get the complete answer of our sum 110 plus 5 equals 115 cents And then our last step, step 3, is we must divide up into rands and cents. So 115 cents equals how many rands? And do you remember what did we say? How many cents does it take to make up one rand? A hundred cents. So 115 cents will give us one rand and 15 cents. If we look at question number B, it 
tells us 130 cents plus 90 cents equals what? Our first step is plus our 100 cents and units together. And remember that we always begin with the smallest one, which is the unit. So, 0 plus 0 equals 0. Next, we plus the tens, which gives us 30 plus 90, and that equals 120. Then we must plus our hundreds together. Then we have 100, but we don't have 100 at our second part of the question. So that will be just 100 plus 0, and that gives us 100. Then lastly, we must plus our answers together to get the complete answer, which is 100 plus 120 plus 0. That gives us 220 cents. Step 3 is our last step. We must divide our rand and our cents. And how many cents does it take to make one rand? Yes, it takes 100 cents to make up one rand. So 220 cents will give us 2 rand 20 cents. And it's always important to remember that 100 cents equals 1 rand. How to make up a certain amount of money? Remember, you can only use valid money. If you can't remember what is the valid money in South Africa, please go to our previous slides where I gave you the pictures of the valid money that we use in South Africa. Okay, so if they tell us to make up a certain amount of money, we must use the money that we get at the bank to make up that certain amount. Our first purse cost 30 cents. So then we can use a 20 cent plus a 10 cent to get 30 cents. Or we can even use 10 cent plus 10 cent plus 10 cent to get 30 cents. Or we can use 5 cents to make up 30 cents. But remember, you do not get a 30 cent at the bank. So that is not valid money. So we can only use our valid money to make up that 30 cents. Then the next one. How can you make up 5 rand 70 cents using valid money? The easiest way is we can use a 5 rand, we can use a 50 cent and we can use a 20 cent. In that way we have 5 rand 70. Or otherwise we can use a 2 rand plus a 2 rand plus a 1 rand to make up the 5 rand. Then we can use a 20 cent plus a 20 cent plus a 20 cent plus a 10 cent to make up 70 cents. Just remember when you make up a certain amount of money to use only valid money. Next, there is multiplication revision. I hope that you are all still revising multiplication multiplication tables every day, the 2, 3, 4, 5 and 10 times tables. <coughs> we have our mathematics activity book 1, our homework, page 9 until page 11, that is about money and I'm sure you will find it easy to do those activities when you have a look at the work that we did today in the lesson. You will find the math activity on the D6 communicator, but it's also important to remember that no learner will be disadvantaged if the homework cannot be done. And then also the memorandum of pages 
1 to page 8 will be available on the D6 communicator. So you can also go and load the memorandum to mark the work that we've done last week and to make corrections and if you don't understand, just to do it again. Thank you guys for listening and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Have a nice day.